Okay, so today we have the HP 975 dual mode wireless keyboard and I partnered with HP for this video to show you what this thing is all about. And first I have to say, I like the way this is very simple and clean looking. Look, if you like a lot of RGB lights and stuff for your keyboard, this is definitely not the one for you. But I think the way this thing looks is very sleek and it's gonna fit very well in a lot of people's desk setups, whether it's at your office or at home. Now inside of the box, you do get a USB-C to USB type A cable that will be used to recharge the internal battery in this keyboard. And we'll talk a little bit about battery life in a second. And then also you do get a USB type A dongle to plug this in to your computer. And then also you get the keyboard. Okay, so let's jump back to the battery real quick. So the built-in battery on this keyboard is rated to last you around six months or so. Now, give or take how much you use this keyboard, it may last a little bit longer. It may last a little bit less. And so HP came up with this estimate based on if you use this keyboard for five days a week for eight hours a day, which that gives you a little bit of leeway there but I think no matter what you can only really see yourself having to charge this keyboard like two times a year which is definitely a little bit less than how much you have to charge your smartphone. Now this is a multi-device keyboard meaning that you can have it paired with three devices at the same time. So right here at the top of the keyboard you will find a button that looks like the USB dongle that comes with it and then you find two other buttons that are dedicated to Bluetooth. And so for the USB dongle more than likely you're going to be putting that into your computer like your laptop or your desktop and then for the two Bluetooth connections you can have this paired up to a tablet or to a smartphone or even like a gaming device so you can use this to control your gaming device on your TV while you sit there and play with it and it's very easy to switch between those three devices just by hitting these buttons and they will light up depending on which one you have selected and so let's talk about some of the other buttons or the keys on this keyboard so at the top you will find a function row of keys here so you have some controls for the volume and also playback controls to control the brightness of the display and even a dedicated button here to be able to mute and unmute the microphone. So that's gonna be great for like Zoom calls and stuff. And then I have to say, I really like typing on this keyboard. The keys feel really good. They don't really feel mushy. They feel very soft, so they have like a soft return. So when you press down on them, they don't like just jump back at you, but they just kind of quietly and gently uh, push back up. So it feels really good and also allows this keyboard to be very quiet. So you might be able to hear that a little bit. I have the microphone like right above me. But compared to a lot of other keyboards, especially mechanical ones, this is definitely gonna be really good for keeping things quiet, especially if you are using this keyboard at home so you don't wake up your wife or your, your husband or whoever else is in the house. And then you have a number pad here on the right-hand side. So this is great for all of my number crunches out there. And then this is a backlit keyboard. So underneath the keys, we have a light source. So the cool thing about this is that um, it has multiple different levels of brightness adjustments that you can use um, the button on the keyboard to be able to raise and lower the brightness, but then also, so it does have something that will automatically change the brightness of the uh, the backlit functionality. So depending on the ambient light in your room, it might determine that you don't need full brightness because it's during the day or something. It will lower that brightness and that will help with battery life. But my favorite thing is that when you do move your hands towards the keyboard, so go ahead and start typing, it will actually turn the backlight on. So the backlight isn't just always on, but uh, you can have it to recognize when your hands move over and then it will already be lightened up for you. So you don't have to press a key yet to be able to see the keys on it, so that's really nice. And another nice thing is that with the backlit keys and also the function keys, you can customize these things using the HP Accessory app, which is available as a free download for your computer. And so this will allow you to do things like customizing the actual functions of the function keys at the top. So you can change them to do a another particular function or you can even assign keystrokes, meaning that if you do have like a video editing app and in order to cut, copy, and paste, you have to hit like two or three keys at the same time, you can assign those different types of keystrokes to one of these function keys. So all you have to do is just press that one button to initiate that action, which is very useful. And then with the backlighting, you can adjust the intensity of that. You can turn on and off the features like being able to recognize when your hands are coming close and stuff. If you don't wanna use that for some reason, I don't see why not, but you do have some controls over that as well. And in this Accessory Center app, if you do have other HP devices like this really nice mouse that I've been using, which is the HP 935 Creator Wireless Mouse, which is a very nice mouse with multiple buttons here on the side that you can customize. This also can be connected to multiple devices, up to three devices, just like the keyboard. And also the scroll wheel, you can change it from just being like the step-by-step -step movement to hitting this button and it will just go super fast there. And also you can tilt it right and left to be able to add some extra functionality to it. Uh, but anyway, if you have like a device like this in the accessory center, you can also customize that too, along with the keyboard. And so yeah, I think that's about it for this HP 975 wireless keyboard here. A very good straight to the point efficient keyboard um, that costs around $99 
$1,500 bucks or so. So I'll leave a link down below in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and click on that, get more information about this keyboard. You can pick up one for yourself if you really want to. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. USB-C port here on the back too for charging and a little on off switch here. I forgot to mention that. But um, other than that, very, very nice keyboard here from HP. So I definitely recommend it. But what do you think? Leave your comment down below of this video and let me know. And also make sure you do like this video if you did like it. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. But like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.